Hello everyone, I'm Jonathan. I'm Crystal. And this is Garbage Horror Out of the Can for Santa's Sleigh. Okay, it's that time of the year. We did the anti-Christmas music. Right. And we're actually recording these back to back, if you couldn't tell. Because we're kind of going on vacation. <laughs> but, that being said, this time of year, whenever you mention you're a fan of garbage horrors and silly horror movies and whatnot, mm-hmm. your friends, your neighbors, your loved ones, your enemies, and people you don't even know, rush up and say, Hey, have you seen Santa Slay? You should really check that out. Yeah. And indeed we have. And indeed we should. Well, you should check it out too, obviously. Yes, yes. Uh, everyone should check it out, but we don't really want to do a full episode on it. No. The reason is it's kind of too good. Yeah. Oddly. Oddly enough, that's an actual problem with this movie. It's actually a fairly big budget flick, and it's got a lot of big name actors in it. Uh-huh. First and foremost, Bill Goldberg playing Santa. Yeah. Which, I've got to say, stroke of genius. Yeah, I mean, whenever I heard that they were going to have a wrestler playing Santa. Uh, Manza, homicidal yeah. Santa. And, um, you know, I've seen wrestlers in other movies, and it's never worked out quite so well. Yeah. Usually it doesn't do very good. The Rock and Doom, um, The Rock yeah. and Anything. Um, yeah, it just doesn't really work. I mean, Stone Cold Steve Austin makes a pretty good generic action hero in some movies, but that's about it. But here, Bill Goldberg actually did a pretty good job. I mean, yeah, yeah his character's not that deep. But he had the physical presence for the role, and mm-hmm. he what acting was called upon him to do, he did pretty well. Yeah, he stole the show. He stole the show in a lot of ways. Um, so kudos to Bill Goldberg. Now, the big concept of this movie is that Santa is really a d- demonic killer. Mm-hmm. However, many, many years ago, he lost a bet with an angel. <laughs> mm-hmm. And the angel hereby forced him to go around and deliver presents to all the boys and girls and be good. And right. trapped him into being the Santa Claus we know and love. But now, the bet's over, and Santa's pissed. (laughs) He isn't happy about delivering presents to the shits all all those years. And he's going to take some revenge, and he's going to take it out on strippers. Yeah. At least in one very interesting sequence he does. But, I mean, it's a very simple movie. Right. But it it works off a very complicated presence that Mm -hmm. somehow ties it together. Because there's... Uh, it's, it centers on two uh, teenagers, right? One of whom, whose grandfather he's living with, is the only person that seems to believe any of this crap. Right. He seems to have some kind of weird connection with it, and understands way too much about it, mm-hmm. and he obsesses over it, even going as far as to have a vault in his house to mm-hmm. protect him from the eventuality of Santa snapping and going batshit insane and killing people. Right. So. And basically, Santa goes batshit and Santa starts killing people. And your bulk of your movie is the creative and fascinating ways Santa Claus butchers people. Yes. And along that line, um, we didn't know about the original Black Christmas yeah. whenever we saw the remake yeah. a few years ago. And whenever we heard the concept of Black Christmas, uh, we thought it was going to be a lot of creative kills using Christmas items. Which was interesting because the previews kind of helped sell that. The, right. The trailers really emphasized that element of right. it. And we found out later, of course, that the uh, trailers were in part a lie <laughs> yeah. about that movie. Yeah. So that's another, that's a, that's a completely separate out of the can that'll probably be coming right. maybe next year. But this movie, however did use a lot of Christmas decorations mm-hmm. to kill a lot of people. A lot and of that people, was really nice to see. A lot of people getting killed by Christmas lights. Yeah. Lights uh, and icicles. Icicles and, and, you know. Just basically Santa ripping people a new one. and you know, It's really an amusing movie in a lot of places. Yeah, I'm even gonna, the Jewish guy wasn't safe. No, which is amusing. <laughs> but i got to say... This movie was done perhaps a little bit too well, too big budget. I mean, it's got Fran Drescher in the opening sequence. Yeah. If you've ever wanted to see her get killed, <laughs> this is a good movie. <laughs> but that's just that, that opening sequence was slam packed with stars, and then right. it kind of diverges, and then you have fewer celebrities going into it. But still, a powerful movie, a great flick. I'm not powerful in terms mm-hmm. of emotional impact, right. but in terms of hard hitting kills. 
and just getting that good, visceral, screw Christmas, relieve some stress mm -hmm. mentality. And it was really fun to watch. It is really fun. And I mean, I'm not, I don't want to discourage anyone from seeing it. It's just not right for a Garbage Horror episode. We're not here. We're here to sort of shine the light on maybe the horror comedies, the lower budget horrors, mm. the, the stuff you find in the $5 bin. Santa Slay is, frankly, too good of a movie. Mm -hmm. A lot of fun, but just too good. It's proof that we can enjoy the non-garbage of the Garbage Horrors, if you will. <laughs> okay. How's that for fairness? Uh, that's fair. Um, all in all, great flick. Well worth checking out. It's in Netflix if you're interested in it. Yes. So you can get it for you get it you stream it for free if you're a Netflix user. Um, can't recommend it highly enough. No. And I do love the fact they actually went with the uh, more Norwegian and the more uh, right uh, version yeah, of Santa look Claus. Yeah, the Santa Claus is really nice. It's it's not the uh, what we think of as the North American version. The Coca-Cola version. The Coca-Cola <laughs> version. It's more of the traditional uh, Scandinavian version with the uh, giant. Beasts pulling. I'm, yeah. I can't remember what they're called right now. There's just one of them, isn't There's there? There's just one beast pulling the sleigh, and he is. He flies, but other than that, not a lot I think of. He's a type of oxen. Yeah, some kind of weird ox thing they have in yeah. that area, but it's very, very cool to see. Very interesting take on the Santa mythos. Yeah, it actually reminded me a little bit of the, the mythos of Paul Bunyan yeah, here it did, in America. Because yeah. mm -hmm. he had a big blue ox and yeah. he was a big, big guy. And, well, this kind of looks like that. Kind of looks like that. Only Christmassy. <laughs> like I said, I was completely stunned at the performance Bill Goldberg put into mm -hmm. this. Really didn't expect much out of him. He no. blew my expectations out of the water. I hope yeah. to see more movies with Bill Goldberg in it, actually. Exactly. I mean, I'm I'm looking forward to looking it up. Maybe may, I'm hoping maybe there are other some action horror movies he's been yeah. in because he really was able to sell the role pretty well. He looked like he was having a ball. Oh, he he was having a great a good time doing this movie. Perhaps a little bit too good of a time. Mm -hmm. Got a little bit disturbing in places, but all in all. Definitely check it out. It's a good holiday flick, just not right for a garbage horror episode. Right. Anything else? No, that's it. Well, on that note, everyone, I'm Jonathan. I'm Crystal. This was Garbage Horror Out of the Can for Santa's Slay, and you better watch out. You better not cry. Ah, oh, crap. I fucked it up. <laughs> Santa's gonna kick your ass! That's a song. You shut up! <laughs> and he's gonna kick your ass, he's gonna kick your ass, he's gonna kick your ass. He's gonna kick your ass. Santa's coming and he's gonna kick your ass Cause you've always been a rotten little brat